afternoon, how are you? Have you seen the new seat before? I haven't, no. Okay, so the, the, one of the things that customers had a little bit of a downside to is if when you slew in your seat, so when your seat's up, you see how, yeah, you see how the close it gets, and it used to catch your steering yeah, wheel. Yeah, it did, yeah. So now, right. you can turn around like wow, that. That's such a bit right Now, here, when you go all the way around into the rear position, if you lock yourself into position, pull your lever back, push your lever forward. Yeah. Yeah, so push it forward, that's it. Now it locks it. Yeah. So obviously you've got all your room that you wanted from before. If you open your back window as well, so you've got a... So you can hear what those are. Yeah. Okay. So obviously then, you don't really have to stow your steering wheel away, but basically we always, one of the things we always do is stow the steering wheel away, so when you go in the cab or this, you, what you notice, oh, there's a lot of room in here. Yeah. So... I don't know if you know all the all the functions of all the latest automated dashboard in this machine. No, I mean I see a lot of years now. Right. I will talk you through a few bits and bobs. So basically, JCB have gone more into the automated world. If you get a, if you've got a BMW or a Mercedes, you're lucky enough. You've got a little button and you can dial through and you can find out how much fuel is and how much fuel you're using, what that button does how to do uh, different things on machines by using power slide basically you have a user manual built into the machine now right i will show you that secondly but you've obviously got smooth ride which can be automatic or you can put it into manual so obviously there's no suspension on a backhoe which is something you probably remember from years ago yeah. all it is is the tires now we've got suspension built into the load arms it's not the srs and it's stood on the hydrogen yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you, you've got this commonality through loading shovels, now into low doors and everything. Uh, lights, 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 high and low. Basically, the high and low is all about saving fuel. So if you're going from A to B on the highway, you want to switch into low. And all that does is switches the main pump off and just keeps the power steering pump working. The, the hydraulic motor's still going, but it's not going through all the auxiliaries, yeah, yeah. saving fuel. Watch why bi-directional or directional is the one so you can have a grab that spins and opens and closes so you can have two auxiliary circuits Which or, right, or yeah or a direct if you wanted to oh, put a breaker on and then you've obviously got your hydro clamps to use your yeah, now what we will do is just before i'll just I'll show you the fly automatics that's a lot yeah. easier that, yeah so if you're moving on your trench all the time, push them forward together quickly. Yeah. And let go, yeah. So. There you go. Yeah, so if you're working on it in a condition where it's in a bit of a slope, you can obviously set yourself up on the back. And then just, you can do it manually just by doing it manually yeah. too, yeah. So then we just equip buttons all the way around until you get to the chair. Yeah. Then obviously, this is a plus button um on a iso so same as a mini excavator or a, a great big you know 100 ton plus yes. excavator you can change it around if you want to be excited and put in sae so you boom and dipper swap over because some operators are still into the expat machines i prefer an expat machine because that's what i was started on yeah but when you turn in your seat this this lever then becomes your loader arm right. with directional so basically when you turn around you didn't have to keep before you just have to keep changing over so now it's even more user friendly less function to every time you do something so when you turn around that way it's in that direction as a uh, activation and off you go then obviously you've got extra dig and then you've got an open and close of your jug yep. okay so that's all the things work in the cab
Yeah, uh, Teesside. All right. So if you spin him on round, so basically, that's it, it should be all right. Oh, okay. oh, oh, but yeah, push that lever down. Yeah. And then basically that button there then right. activates everything. So now he's live. Yeah. Um, you've got roller on the back here, which is your extended dipper in and out. Oh, I see, right. So yeah. that's yeah. over there. But just watch when you rotate it uh, on the other one, the gripper will come up and hit the dipper arm. I'm having a bigger counterweight on the front. All right. So they're going to do that at the factory once right? up here. He's a little bit light on the front. Oh, is that when it's got the time? So, well, just like. It, like say from the time load it on the low loader, even with the back axle pulled up, it was just lifting the front wheels a bit and going up the ramps and stuff. Yeah. And when I'm working on banks and stuff, yeah, yeah. Well, right. Yeah, yeah. They do an extra 125 kilo weight, so we just come up with agreement that if you have the bigger for a couple of days, chuck the weight on. So, oh, so. yeah. So hopefully, it just make a bit of difference, make it a bit safer on the road. Because when I'm running with a flail, I have to run the flail under the tilt rotator on the right. road. Yeah. So I can't get the flail in the front bucket. Yeah, yeah. So with the tilt rotator and the flail all on the back hanging out, it's quite heavy on the back end. So like on the road, nearly doing 50k, you know, it's a little bit <laughs> yeah. careful. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, you're right, yeah. So that extra 100, 100 kilos you know, or whatever it is, hopefully might just make a bit of difference just to counteract and yeah. carry the weight on the back. Yeah. Yeah, so well, like Thanks, Neil.
Well, that's it from me in the JCB demo quarry. Massive thank you to JCB for the invite and hospitalities, and of course for allowing us a closer look at their old prototype Articulate 4CX, which sadly didn't make it into production. Thank you to Neil Chapman for letting us all demo his fully loaded 4CX with NCON. These attachments are absolutely next level when attached to a 180 or 360 excavators. Other owner operators such as Ollie Guns has recently invested in a 3CX, so we're excited to see what he makes of them, as you can always rely on the honest review from Mr Guns. Be sure to head over to his YouTube channel if you like a bit of 180 action. What a great day to be aboard some of the new 4CX Pro machines, doing different challenges and putting them to the test. The new 4CX is much smoother, stronger and more comfortable machine, with a lot of operator feedback going into the new model. It will be great to see the next generation coming through and putting their time into these amazing machines. These were once the backbone of UK sites and although they have faded into the background over the years, these machines are still more than capable and more versatile to run out on sites today. The only problem I see is there's a lot more going on in the 3 and 4 CX, there are forklift, front loader, excavator and all round sites with army knife with so many weapons in its arsenal. From a company point of view, this is brilliant, but unfortunately, no one wants to really put the time and effort into being an accomplished 180 operator when 360s are so much more simpler to operate. I've worked with some unbelievable backhoe operators over the years, but there seems to be less interest in the next generation of operators wanting to operate these, which is unfortunate, as in the right hands, they're still simply the ultimate site workhorse. These are true operating machines. I'll always have a massive respect for 180 operators, and it's nice to see some companies still using them today and the right operators using them to the full potential. Check out my previous video from a JCB World Headquarters tour which we did before heading out to the demo quarry today. Thanks so much for watching, it's much appreciated, stay safe and I'll see you soon.